Questions? Hey guys, a uh, great walkthrough uh, day for us uh, uh, today. Energy size guys are excited about this opportunity. Coaches too. So, um, you know, we got to finish our preparation. You guys have heard me say that the last couple of weeks. The last 48 hours is, is an area we can be better at. Uh, important that we finish it the right way. First road game, so all the little things are certainly going to matter. Communication is going to be really critical, in particular on the offensive side of the ball. So things that we're working and, and uh, need to be ready for when we get there. Um, you know, don't have a, a, an update on, on the quarterback status right now. Joe's gotten some work here during the course of the week. We'll find out more tomorrow uh, with him, but some of the other guys that uh, maybe you didn't see last week, um, anticipate most of those guys being able to play, though, when we get down to Gainesville. Austin? Coach, what's Juwan Mitchell's status on, on, for Saturday? Will he be back? Um, he's been able to, to be with us out on the grass a little bit this week. We'll, uh, we'll see where he's at when we get, uh, get through tomorrow and, and then be able to determine uh, where he's going to be. Josh, Florida's obviously really good in press man coverage, very physical. How are your, mm -hmm. your guys, your receivers, and that kind of, that kind of long, long, athletic. Um, you got to do a great job at the line of scrimmage. You got to be able to change up uh, you know, your, your press releases on, on them if you give them the same look every single time. Uh, they're going to get hands on you and, and uh, be able to keep you locked on um, at the line of scrimmage. Uh, at the end of the day, um, because of what they're doing, you're going to have to make some one-on-one -on -one plays. And, and uh, I think our guys are prepared for that. And, and uh, we got to go execute at a really high level. Have you felt like you, your guys have done a good job against that coverage you've seen this year so far? Yeah, I, I feel like we have an opp opportunity to, to go compete and make plays and, and uh, give those guys the tools to, to go win in some of those one-on-one -on -one situations. Coach, you guys spoke yesterday about uh, Florida's option. What have you seen in terms of progression with that this week in your defense and just how they react? Uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's different forms of it, whether it's power, power read, whether it's, uh, you know, speed option. Uh, you got to have a, a dive player, quarterback player, and if there's a pitch player involved in it, you better have somebody on the pitch too. It's going to force you to, to play responsibilities. It's going to force you to, to read and react to things the right way. And then you got to tackle extremely well in space. In particular, their running backs and their quarterbacks have the ability to, uh, to make you miss or, or to run through a tackle. And, and uh, you got to do a great job in space. Patrick and Rob. Coach, uh, obviously you guys were you know, preparing most offseason for Cooper to be your center. How has Jerome done stepping in there with the tempo? And, and Jerome's done a really good job uh, communication-wise. Um, been really pretty seamless uh, in, in the transition from him going over to guard to center. Because he's your starting guard, you know, the number of actual center reps is not as high if he, as if he was just the two center uh, when he stepped in. Uh, pleased with a lot of what he's done. Um, anticipate Coop being back with us and, and uh, uh, Jerome being able to slide over. Do you feel like you have a number one defender <coughs> on, on this team? And, and do, you, do you carry your philosophy? Is it okay if it's like me? I'd like to have three guys that we feel are, are number one, you know, I mean, or four or five. Um, we have great trust in, in, uh, in the guys that are out there competing. Uh, Cedric's done a really good job at times. Javante, um, you know, Bayless uh, has played both outside and inside. All those guys are going to have to be able to make plays. Ben? Just what have you seen from the defensive line under Rodney since the spring? And just how comforting is it for you to look across the field and see that guy with that resume? <coughs> Rodney does a great jo job on and off the field uh, for us. Uh, he's changed the, the culture inside of that room. Uh, you know, the, the style of, of how we play is uh, subtly different than, than what they were used to a year ago. Uh, fundamentals and techniques, those guys have continued to grow. He's a great teacher, uh, cares about his player, gets great investment and buy-in from him uh, because he does care about him. And, and uh, his resume speaks for itself. Um, he's a great resource for all of us, but me in particular, you know, I mean, his experience here in this league uh, on the field and in recruiting and off the field as well. Tim in the very back. Coach, it's been a while since you guys have been on the road in, in a really wild atmosphere. Obviously, the swamp is, is a pretty wild atmosphere. What have you done this week to kind of prepare those guys for that? Well, I mean, you talk about the environment, but then you uh, you try to create and, and simulate the, the issues that it causes as far as communication, in particular on offense because of uh, the crowd and then being in the football game uh, at that time. And, and you know, for us, uh, we got to do a great job uh, seeing, recognizing, communicating, and uh, being clean as far as uh, pre-snap penalties. So it's a big emphasis from us all week long. 
when you do not, when you're not sure who your quarterback, who the quarterback's going to be on the opponent, and how they're going to use <coughs> multiple quarterbacks, how much extra work does that add in preparation for a game when there's that uncertainty? I mean, if you're looking at them and, and their ability to play multiple guys, um, there's things that, that both of them, you know, are, are comfortable with that, that they use um, schematically. Um, I, I think each of them are going to be subtly different in the nuances uh, of, you know, what they like in particular in, in the pass game. So uh, if it's two contrasting styles, um, then you got to be ready for, for both of them. And, and in some ways you prepare not different call sheet, but primary calls uh, for each of those guys. Anything else? Oh, we'll go to two more in the back. How important will it be to establish the run game? Uh, you guys didn't really get a, a good push up there against Tennessee back in the last one. Yeah, it'll be important that uh, you stay out third and longs in this football game. Uh, a part of that is absolutely being uh, extremely efficient in the run game. Part of it's being efficient in, in your throw game, too, to, to stay out of those uh, long yard situations. Josh, has there been any thought into playing more than one quarterback in a game? No, right, right now we're, we're not leaning that way. Jimmy, back Josh, what do you think has made you so good against the run this season and, and the challenges of the court? <coughs> Um, starts with gap integrity, first of all, uh, first, second, third levels all being in sync. Uh, and that eliminates big plays. Uh, the ability for your front seven uh, to, to change and to start the line of scrimmage, those are absolutely critical. And, and you've seen uh, certain personnel do a great job of that throughout uh, the course of the, the first three weeks. And Florida's run game? Really good. Uh, they're big, strong, physical up front. Um, they. Uh, you know, with the quarterback run game, they have the ability to play 11 on 11 and make the numbers right. You got to be disciplined with, uh, you know, their power read, their speed option. I mean, all of those ways that uh, uh, they force you to have a, a dive quarterback and pitch play. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys.